What's up guys? Mac Daddy Dipper here. I'm Big Mac and I'm going to be your host for today's video. Today is the well waited for question and answer video by me. Alright. <clears throat> Finally got, ended up getting enough questions. I was supposed to do it like two nights ago but I didn't. I only got like one question so I'd, I kind of laid off until I got about five or six questions which I think I have six I believe. I'll go I'll, I think I have I have anywhere between, I think I have five or six, I'm not sure. I just as many as I can remember. And, um, so yeah. Let's pack this fucking lip. We got us some Copenhagen straight. And let's just sit back and I'm going to answer some questions for y'all. And yes, I'm rocking the Carhartt stocking cap because it's fucking cold, man. My nipples could cut diamonds or so hard right now. I know that sounds a little weird, but, you know. That's the dang truth. But, yeah. The good thing I like about cold weather is that dip tastes a lot better in cold weather for some reason. And plus, now that I'm on Christmas break, <laughs> back to three cans a day. So that means this tower is going to swell up over the two past no, the next two weeks. Oh. Big old fatty. Come to Papa. All right. So First question comes from Aaron Johnson, a.k.a. the Rebel Outlaw Dipper. He asked, Mac Daddy Dipper, how old were you when you first started dipping? And why did you start? So there's two questions right there. Well, Aaron, I started dipping when I was 13. Uh, I... Um, just tried it, just to, you know, try it, and I got hooked on it, honestly. Yeah, I know, I spent another ball, I don't feel like cleaning up my mud jugs, this is just a simple Q&A video. So, yeah, that's why I spent another ball. Anyway, so I answered your question, I was 13, and I just tried it just because I wanted to try it. Um... Jessica Thomas asks, what makes a redneck a true redneck? That's a very good question. Alright, you can be a redneck and not wear boots every day. You can be a redneck and not drive a five foot lifted truck. You can be, it's not, it's not what you have, it's how you live. Like, I'm a redneck. I mean, and it's not, I'm not a redneck just because I dip. Because I know plenty of people that aren't rednecks that dip. You know, dip is just tobacco. But, rednecks are country people, are hardworking, Mainly Christian, but if you're not, you know, you can still be country and redneck at the same time. So that's not really... They're respectful. They may not be the smartest, but they at least try their best. They try their best at anything they do. And plus, they're, overall, they're all fun to be around. I guess that's why everybody loves them, because we're fun as hell to be around. And, uh, yeah, it's a very good question. Dixie Mae Depper asked me if there was any day I could take back in my life, what would it be and why would I? Um, to answer that question, or questions, I honestly wouldn't take back any day in my life, honestly. 
I mean, there's some days where I feel like I just want to crawl under a rock and die, but I still wouldn't take it back for nothing. You want to know why? It's because life is like a roller coaster. It's going to have its ups and downs. And when you get to those downs, you realize, eventually you just realize that's just part of life. And, you know, life goes on. You may feel like shit that day, but you might win the lottery tomorrow. Like your grandma could have died one day, you inherit a billion dollars from her the next day. Wow, that's actually kind of sad sounding. Sorry. I mean, unfortunately I don't have any grandparents anymore. But, you know. So, if that's a tender subject, I'm sorry in advance. Like, if you're asking what I'm doing, I have a piece of dip like stuck right here. And won't. There we go. Uh, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. So, to answer your question, I wouldn't take it back any day because it's just part of life, and you know, life has its goods and its bads and its ups and downs. Oh yeah, Dixie. Joe is my man. Back off. <laughs> no, I'm not gay. That's just an inside joke we all have. Or me and my best friend, the redneck Joe. Or Cope Southern Joe now. We, uh, I always tell the girlfriend, I'm like, Joe's my man. Back off. You know, just to piss him off. So, yeah. Well, guys, with that note, I'm going to wrap this video up. Once again, this has been your boy, Mac Daddy Denver. I'm out of here, y'all. Peace.